up, my fellow introverts? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mina here back with another commentary video. Guys, I'm here with a brand new anime. I am very excited. I am in my anime era once again. I have missed it. I know you guys have been seeing a lot of live action for me and movie commentaries. I hope I could keep up with that. I really want to, but I have missed anime. I've hold up on like so much like watch my personal watches it's like I have nothing new and all the ones I want to watch I want to watch with you guys I want you guys to see me watch it um put it on my channel so with all the um setbacks and everything going on you know life or whatever um I haven't gotten a chance to just you know try something new so I did a while ago uh, a little poem for what you guys wanted to see next and Classroom of the Elite did win and I think Blue Lock and Dr. Stone tied. I will check but right now I am more interested in watching Dr. Stone. This is a very good anime that um, was talked about for a very long time since it came out or whatever. It was on my list to watch, to be a personal watch. Uh, I transferred it to you know a YouTube watch and I'm very excited I don't really know what it's about other than there's like a scientist um, trying to figure out a cure for statuism or something because the whole planet is now statues or something I I'm not sure but I want to jump into Dr. Stone it seems like a good time and I think season two just came out a little while ago so I'm very excited and I can't wait anymore guys I want to jump right into this new anime but of course before that guys make sure you head on over to the book it's an awesome book recommendation what's that feel with awesome book recommendations guys head on over and subscribe to my mailing list you will get updated on things in my store meaning the introvert which if you subscribe to my mailing list you get 10% off on your order also if you subscribe to my mailing list you get updates on new book recs and such guys there will be new ones up very soon i have been a little lax since i've been busy but most of the books on the booksydemand.com are books i have read personally and i have reviewed them and put them in certain categories so guys make sure you check that out there's also at the end of the video i give you guys some promos so guys make sure you check them out don't be afraid the links are in the description box below i am an affiliate marketer so know if you click my link and purchase something know that i will be able to get a commission so guys make sure you check out the stuff um and if anyone has some suggestions on what you guys want to see from the promos I would love that as well whether it's food electronics I'll make sure I search for the discounts and put it up so guys make sure you, you know give me some feedback I do just random promos usually discounts for Barnes and Nobles and Amazon um, so guys make sure you just you know let me know I would love some feedback <laughs> and let's just jump right into this new one I am very very excited this is dr stone season one episode one this one is titled stone world okay we're gonna get i guess the intro to the world of stone <laughs> why everyone is you know statified on that day every man woman and child on earth instantly turned to stone i mean on what day this was like this is it senku instantly my mind's into. made up i'm finally gonna do it confess i bet i'm telling her how i feel knew it why is this anime given very old school not that i have any problem with it because i kind of really much like it it's also reminding me um of of mob psycho a little bit just a, just a tad fascinating i can't leave the lab right now but I promise to cheer you on so vociferously, my vocal cords will snap. Nigga, what? What was that word? Thank you. No, you big oaf. I won't project my voice even one millimeter for your cause. I've developed this drug as a kind of love potion. It maxes out your pheromone levels. Oh shit, did he turn everyone into stone? Wouldn't that be wild, a student? Thanks, but no thanks, Senku. 
I gotta do this my way. And it seeped into the soil, the atmosphere, the plants, the water supply, and everyone, you know, turned into stone. Here's your brain. Whoa. That's gasoline. I simply refined it from plastic bottle caps. Uh -huh. Consider the molecular structure of polyethylene. It's just like a long gasoline molecule minus a few hydrocarbons. Okay. You can tell just by looking. Nigga, it looked like water. If Taiji drank it, wouldn't that have killed him? <laughs> no, the odds of him drinking that were 10 billion to one. He's dumb, but too straight laced. Why risk that though? I mean, I guess he, he calculated the odds. Sorry, I'm late. It's fine. So what's going on? Oh, I thought she couldn't hear. I thought that was headphones. Okay. What is that? A uh? hundred yen on heartbreak. Three hundred on her making him cry. Five hundred on her calling him a creep. <sighs> That's not nice, guys. I bet ten thousand mm -hmm. that she's into him too. Seriously? Really feel I, I, I don't know how much she that is. Not want to be my friend anymore. But I can't keep it a secret forever. It's like this, Yuzuria. All right. Yeah, look like y'all could be related, but okay. Hold up. What's that weird light? Oh. So, <laughs> it wasn't his gasoline, <laughs> which makes sense. That's a random moment Quick, for it. Grab onto the tree. <laughs> what the hell? What? What you gonna do? <laughs> what the? He what the heck? Holy shit, were, were everyone still conscious when this happened? Bro! Oh, damn. You know he's dead. Oh, they're dead. Oh, that's dark. Terrifying. Nigga, it's all just like frauds. Like physically, like and mentally, but it's like they seem to be still conscious unless they start to fade out over time. But to be trapped in your own body, the world would be insane. This would be a mental thing that will just like it will ruin everyone. The therapist's office would be overwhelmed. Ah, I'm still alive! Yusuri has smart. I'm sure she probably got away, but I can't. To go where? I have to find her and tell her exactly how I feel. Oh, this is time I've has got passed. I've the power to survive. I know I do. This could go on for weeks or even months, but still, no matter what. Then it looked like it happened for years. It's been years. So if they choose to fade out, they die. And if they, nigga. What is this? <laughs> what is this? How many decades has it been? Centuries? Millennia? Why are you naked now? Your clothes turned into stone. I'm gonna survive this, even if it kills me! Did that fall on him? That shit is insane. How did he get there? Oh, he's awake. Oh, people that crack open, they get the line thingy. I'm finally free! I can move my body again! Oh yeah, that's awesome. That is insane, bro. Oh gosh. No. So like everyone went through all that too? Those are, are broken. I guess they're like dead. I'm sorry. I really wish I could do more to help. Yeah, she's like dead. I I would assume. A bird statue? There's so much detail. I mean, check out those wings. It looks so real. I think maybe it is real. <gasps> A friend of mine just found one of these. I saw the picture he posted of it. Oh, it's happening to birds first. But the the dog was fine. And harden up that is terrifying though i hope you don't feel pain when you statued it didn't seem like it because you know he was like he was under water and everything and not a real bird but you still brought it to the vet you're so silly it's embarrassing 
Of course, the moment I do something stupid like this, my crush shows up out of nowhere. Just my luck. Uh, why are you here? Well, because I'm a big old dummy too. I found this little guy and wanted to see if I could help him. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. You did the exact same thing. And we're both going to be late for school. Oh, yeah. oh, God, I hope she's okay. She's not a cracked. I could never forget that face. Not even after thousands of years. I knew you were still alive. Has it been thousands of years? Yeah, it must seem like it. That tree is massive. See what the world would become? <laughs> Ooh, not puckered. Sis, okay. Uh, oh, I'm really proud of you! And you're incredible too, Tree! You kept her safe this entire time! Like you held on to her! Thank you! So they, their clothes like dissolve or something. Like, I don't know! <laughs> You were my light shining in the darkness for hundreds, even thousands of years. God, how are you sane? Now, I can finally say it. I started back then, but I never got to finish. So, what I was going to tell you that day is that, that I... I mean, if you could come back, I'm sure she can. If she had conscious, then if her consciousness they fade away oh. i've loved you for hundreds and thousands of years oh that's sweet it is truly it's nice that this opportunity came around you know he turned to stone so he <laughs> he realistically got to say like yeah i've loved you for like a million years for thousands of years i've been in love with you <laughs> I swear on my life, I'll save you. Don't know how, but I'll find a way. Okay? So just wait. Why is she like that, though? Follow the river downstream, big oaf. I wonder how long he's been awake, Dr. Stone. Well, look who's finally awake. Good morning, ah. you big oaf. <laughs> Oh, you're alive too! Don't you dare hug me while you're buck naked! Hands off! I'm not joking! It, it seems to it have obviously taken him a while. You're 5,738. You really slept in for a hell of a long time. Nigga. It has been 3,700 years. Nigga. How do you know what day it is? You got some kind of calendar or what? You've uh, been counting. I figured it out by sure. counting. It was the logical thing to do. How are you guys saying? This is not realistic. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> Damn. Almost lost consciousness again. Oh. Seems to happen about every 800,000 seconds. So that's how they're losing. Their brains start to like shut down. And like when they come back, it's probably like time jumps or like they've been like asleep almost. Maybe it's like a second for them mentally. And then maybe in the real world, it's like. It's been like two days or something. Because, nigga, I'm wondering how they're saying. <laughs> how can you be aware right now? They can't move. They're, but they're in this blackness. It's like, bro. 65,530 seconds. One, two. <sighs> this is insanity. There's no doubt. Even if I had willed myself awake before then, being out here stark naked with no supplies in winter would have meant game over pretty damn quickly. I realized I would have to start things up in the springtime. So keeping an extremely precise account of the time was an absolute must. This nigga, what? So you counted and calculated on when spring will come around? When you felt like you were... Nigga! Did this... on your own? Why I was expecting like a skyscraper or something. <laughs> like something elaborate. Like a... A real like tree house with like branches, like um, like car a hollow tree, and then like they had like um, what do you just call that thing? A uh, a bridge, <laughs> a wooden bridge. I was thinking like had various houses. I don't know who would have used them, but <laughs> that's what I was expecting. But this is just a hut. I guess it's impressive. <laughs> He's a he is an intelligent guy. <laughs> you were so hell bent on confessing your love, and for a guy as stubborn as you. Even a few thousand years wouldn't stop you from making that happen. You aren't that weak. Few thousand. Yeah. 
Of course I'm not! If you can handle all the brainy stuff, you can leave the heavy lifting to me! No problem! So I guess that's why out they're close to, crawl to out of the Stone Age you know, dissolve. We need to do that in a sprint. I swear I'm going to take back the world. Through science, I'll figure out what happened to us and how we broke free. I swear I'm gonna save you, Zuriha. Yeah, because everything is like dissolved, kind of. And it's not like they could get any <laughs> cat food because it's been way too long. Well, unless you like get the the packaged peas i don't think peas spoils like the the, <laughs> the package hardened peas <laughs> i don't know rice i don't think that spoils either but I, again it's been like thousands of years maggots probably get got into that animals probably i don't know wolfsbane are you trying to poison us oh no yeah hunting hunting isn't this worth just some salt that I pulled out of the seawater a little pinch of it will make almost anything palatable we can utilize it for pickling food as well one of primitive man's greatest discoveries I'd say thank you sink I definitely if I woke up one I wouldn't be seen <laughs> I think I would have would have been very likely I died <laughs> but if I woke up it was um I would definitely die from starvation <laughs> from the weather now I'll find a cave. You know, the will to survive is very, very, like, insane. So I, I wouldn't be too quick. Because, you know, your survival instinct would be, like, get up and go get some food. You know? I just think I would likely fall off a cliff. <laughs> Trip over something. He's called the strongest primate high schooler. Shishio Sukasa. Nigga, what? Guess he couldn't fight it either. Those people, are they, like, okay? And who put him in it? Put him in his kid. I'm assuming it was. Thank you. Haven't been here yet, so that means someone else survived. I gotta know who they are. Right, because he me, moved. Idiot. Oh, oh yeah. no way! So it was him. Are we the only ones left for real? Like the last humans still alive? Doubtful. Can you chalk up the timing to mere random coincidence? Six months apart is a relative blip on the radar. There's a reason why we both reanimated so close together. We drifted up near here. It would make sense that this cave factored in somehow. See that? The stuff trickling from overhead? Hmm? Mm. That's our miracle fluid, made from bat guano. Good old nitric acid. No way! That's crazy! That bat shit? Liquid? How I wish it were so straightforward. That would rule. I guess trying it on an animal is smarter. Is it all mineral? Are there living cells underneath? I don't have the laboratory for in-depth analysis. So basically what you're telling me is, there are things even science can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That tired old cliche. Some liquor might speed things up. No, huh? Combined with the nitric acid, we could make something nice and potent. What's commonly known as nidal, which is an industrial strength etching agent. What did you say we needed? Liquor. Ignital. It gets into the ferrite grain boundary. No! Don't confuse me with some kind of science talk. We need liquor. Wine comes from grapes, yeah? And that is a type of alcohol, isn't it? Good job. See, I've, um, I'm almost done with the episode right now. <laughs> God, I don't know anyone's name. <laughs> totally forgot. <laughs> Why am I like this, bro? <laughs> Put it in a container and stir it up every day until it's ready to go. Yeah, it's fermented, right? I thought of something. Underage drinking's a crime too. <laughs> Where, who's gonna, who's gonna arrest you guys? Over 3,700 years old. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay guys, you didn't age. I knew you'd say that. It's heating, cooling, and dripping. That'll concentrate the alcohol. Don't worry. I knew that. Ancient Mesopotamia were doing this with clay pots in 3000 BC. And if they can do it, then so can we. Now get excited, Taisha! I was just about to applaud that because it seemed very well done, but oh. I don't know, I kind of love this montage thing. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know, it's just giving me a very wholesome vibe. Time is really passing. Nigga, how long have you been? Why are you like 40? I'm assuming this is in the same year. <laughs> now it's spring again, so it's been a year. Work, damn you! <gasps> it worked! But what were the conditions for them, though? It's not like they, they did all this stuff, like the environment. I guess, what what triggered their awakening? I know He said it was like the cave. I know he said that. And it's like the bat shit liquid. <laughs> uh, but what... Right now, he's using wine and the bat shit liquid. So it's not just the bat shit liquid. So what happened with them to, like, for them, for their stone thingy to rot? I wonder. Lesson one. It's not that there are things science can't explain. Not in the least. Oh, shit. This is crazy. There are rules behind everything that happens. Science is just the name for the steady, pain-in-the-ass effort that goes into finding out what they are. This is cool. Do the birds get a line or they like their feathers? Now y'all could eat that. That's that's food. <laughs> but <laughs> you guys did that. I've been experimenting for a year now. It actually didn't take as long as I'd imagined. Where are your family members? Have you looked? Have the the other one looked? Science is my only weapon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, what an amazing episode. I'm already addicted. Really and truly. I want to jump right into the next episode, if I'm really honest. That was so much fun. Um, I'm going to call him Dr. Stone. And I'm going to call the other one Big Oaf. Because <laughs> I can't remember their names. So I know it was likely said, but <laughs> Guys. <laughs> but, oh, that was a very cool episode. Um, I do want to know why they woke up what conditions they met while they were stone people i do not comprehend how they are seen but i guess like i said earlier whenever they start to fade out i think there's maybe like a time jump maybe to them it might be like a second a minute but in the real world outside of their stone bodies it's like years or something that's what i'm gonna assume because in no way that they did all of this for so long it's just, it's just so weird but then i say that but dr stone counted out the days and the years and stuff he made it seem like he never missed a day that's why he knows what year it is and such and such how much time so i don't think my theory is that much correct so how are they saying <laughs> that shit is wild to me to be trapped in your body like bro i'm bored <laughs> i'm bored that guy had his willpower and his affection towards the girl so i guess love did it for his mental <laughs> and then for dr stone he probably was like inventing <laughs> new ways to do things in that span of time i mean nothing you have nothing to do have nothing but time on your hands nothing to to distract you you just he's a scientist he invents he creates he, he he's something that um he's always thinking you know he, he counted like he said and he had to count and think at the same time so probably probably he was going through like scenarios and stuff i understand how his brain could keep active but if I was frozen <laughs> in my own body, first of all, I'm screaming. I'm fading out like immediately. I have no care in the world. Maybe that's what happened with everyone else in me. That's why they, they, they faded out. But I want to know if fading out means you're dead. I don't think so because birds can't really think, not like the way humans think. So I'm assuming 
that the birds faded out like almost immediately after like you know thinking about the worm they had for breakfast or whatever <laughs> and then just kaput and like they were done for the day <laughs> for the many years i guess maybe they don't die <laughs> i'm gonna see you but i just i don't understand how the big oath is seen i want to say love love has the power to keep you sane but it makes you insane really <laughs> But what what was up? That's five thousand years that he said. That he said it was no. He said they were in the year five thousand. Bro, I am mentally exhausted. I'm I'm tired of screaming. I'll just fade out. I'll be done. <laughs> I'm like wake me up by this time. <laughs> because what? But it seemed like they also the bat juice, the bat shit liquid, and their will to awaken. I guess that had to do with them breaking out. So I don't like, it's like, yeah, maybe he have to stimulate the, the, I, I don't know, but I'm very, very interested in finding out. This seems like such a great, a great anime. I'm very excited for it to proceed, to proceed with it. <laughs> and yeah, guys, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Are you a Dr. Stone fan? Let me know if you read the manga. I think there's a manga out there um, that's, updated it's it's updated pretty far i think i saw it the other day or something and i was about to read it but i remembered there was an anime for it so i was like okay that's it <laughs> don't forget to head on over to the book make sure you check it out check out the book Rex as well as subscribe to my mailing list guys please and don't forget to stick around till the end of the video there is uh, promos for you guys to enjoy and down in the description box below there are all links to my book pad stories guys make sure you check that out and yeah that's it for tonight guys until next time Bye.